This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. Well, we got Cameron was talking about that somebody was trying to buy his coat. People have offered him up to $350,000 for the coat, but he would want the coat to go in a museum and travel the world so people could see it. I could see it going in type of like a hip hop museum or something, but how much do you think this coat was when he bought it? 500, maybe, you know? <laughs> it's great. Yo, Cameron is just like, I don't know. He took so many fashion. He was just so different with fashion when he, uh, he came out. Like he came out for the second time um, on Rockefeller that it was like everything was just legendary at one point. He had a pink Range Rover that you'd always see driving around New York. I remember that pink Range Rover would just make make its own uh, appearances sometimes. I mean, it's just, yeah, I guess you'd have to be in New York to experience it. I'd see it driving through Harlem, around Wagner houses every once in a while. I mean, Cameron is just different, bro. I could see someone wanting to pay $350,000 for a piece of hip hop history. He won't sell it though. Um, then we got Adam 22 and house phone get into it. Uh, I think this was all scripted to be honest with you. Uh, Adam 22 crossed the line with house phone kind of like wasn't the best, um, friend to him, you know, and, you know, wasn't sympathetic with his situation of going, everything he's going through. And, um, you know, I think they scripted this for views, to be honest with you, because they are very much about views over there at No Jumper, which is, you know, they're playing the game. Um, but this was definitely a serious situation, um, whether they worked it out off camera or not. You know, they came back and did a part two and uh, said they worked it out and they talked it through. But, you know, it was a moment. It was a moment. But I, I definitely think the whole thing was... Uh, on camera where they, he pretended to throw the water on him was was scripted it just it felt a little you could still tell that there was real aggression there there were there was a disagreement for sure but you know i don't know um i don't know there wasn't much um going on today honest with you uh, to be honest with you i mean uh that was it. I mean, on the blog, all you're seeing is like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. One more thing. Sorry. One more thing. Billboard's top 50 rappers. <sighs> this is trash. They didn't get to the top 10 yet, but they got Kanye West ahead of Andre 3000. That's crazy. That's crazy. Andre 3000 should be in the top 10. Ugh. Chuck D is behind. Is he behind? Th this list is just trash, bro. It's just not in a good order. You got Rick Ross number 50. That's a little disrespectful. You got Gucci Man ahead of Rick Ross. I don't know. This is Billboard sucks at picking stuff like this. Billboard shouldn't be picking a, any kind of list. These lists, B dot, everybody should stay away from these lists. Seriously, it's not a good idea. Cause it's so it's so fickle. These lists, you know, it's like it's a personal thing. You know, these lists. Uh, you're never gonna get a list right. You can get close, but you're never gonna get a list perfectly right. Um, that's about it, man. This is Jordan Tao with JT News. I appreciate you guys, and I will check you guys in the next one. Peace.